Hello everyone, Aronius here again. This time I'm back on the redstone testing world, and today I'm going to try to get a drill working. Hopefully it'll be fully autonomous, and be able to not only mine a tunnel, but also have the blocks taken off and sent to some place where they can be destroyed. <laughs> So, I guess I'll get started on it just with the basic beginnings of a flying machine. I'll see you guys once I've got the basic drill built up. Alright, I think I've got a system here that will at least let it fly and be able to catch it when it returns, but I don't know how, it's going, how I'm going to get it to return. So that'll stick to a block. And then I think this one is the one I need to hit for it to return. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so I just... I, I gave up a while back and logged back on because I've had a little bit of a brainwave. I think if I were to put a trapdoor and an observer on in just the right way, I could make one of these, I'm going to just switch it to a different wall, I could make one of these with a secondary stage where it's the engine first, then a stage that makes it switch around when it collides, and then the sticky part. And if I do that, it might work. Oh, might not, but I guess I'll try it out. Okay, I'm still a little bit stumped, but I'm getting there. This kind of makes it stuck when it starts moving, and I'm not sure why. I mean, I know why, but it's like, it gives two pulses here, but I'm not sure how to stop that. I just realized I could actually expand the space that I can put a slime block in, because if I, if I carry this out to right here, This is kind of the footprint that the drill will leave. It'll constantly be digging out an area like that. I was thinking that I had to keep all of my slime in this area so it wouldn't attach to anything, but I just realized if it's only going in one block at a time, I can put slime basically anywhere and it'll just make the hole a little bit bigger. I think I'm almost there. If I start it off like that, I have to start it up in two places. I think there, and then I start it again here, and the two pieces will catch up when they get there. And it, it almost starts back up here. But for some reason, when it extends there, I guess maybe there's not enough delay between the time it stops and the time it gets spat back out. This thing doesn't grab and retract. Even though there's an observer there, it should. I don't know why it's not. But if I can just get that to trigger like it's supposed to, this whole thing will be functional. I think. Because then if it triggers, then it pulls that back. Uh... Oh wait a minute, that can, that can be fixed by removing this piston entirely. I, I think I've got it. I added that thing there, so if something crashes into the back of this, it'll start moving with the current setup. All I need now is for a single engine that's mm, four blocks? Well, I can have up to, what, eight blocks for an engine. So now, if that thing reverses, we have a working system. Ah, it doesn't reverse, dang it. This is becoming mildly infuriating. Alright, I'm running it without that. Exact same setup, the only difference is I add that instead of instead of having that crash into it, and it works flawlessly. I update that one, and then I update this one, and it has everything the way it's supposed to be. So then why does that crash into this not be 
done. <laughs> you know what? I wonder what would happen if I cave into its demands of requiring a trap door there. If I just shunted a oops. If I just shunt a uh, trap door in between there, like that, because that's how I got it to work before. So now it'll come in, it'll be correct. Nope, that still doesn't work. Alright, I tried sending it with the observer on there instead of on here. Let's see what happens. And it works, okay. So now, if I do that, and then do all the updates I have to do to get it set up, which I can can be done by a station completely automated. Then I should be able to send it, and then send this one, and then put that back, and then set, um, dang it, that one fused. Hmm. All right, this time I'm gonna try and figure out why it's fusing. Because other than it fusing, this thing works. And there, that's when it fused. I'll have to look at that in slow-mo, see if I can figure out why it's fused. All right, crazy idea. What if I replace that with a regular piston? Because then, if I replace that with a regular piston, it won't be able to be pushed in the middle of a cycle. So now if I try that... Oh wait, but there's no... Mm. Yeah, I forgot to put the, uh, the observer back there. Right back. Okay, so I've added a little bit to the station here. I think that that will allow me to pull the blocks out, but I want to move this out of the way first before I test it. So then that sent the reversing section, so that's right. That does not work the way I intended it to. So then that'll grab or remove. That should not be there. That should be right here, along with an observer facing that way. So then I should be able to pull both of those out of the way and put them back at will. Perfect. So now let's try this out. That still gives double double pulses, and that's... Yeah, that still gives double pulses. However... I don't think anything fused. Well, that's a step in the right direction. See, this is why I put all these trap doors on the test bed. <laughs> I might be stupid. <laughs> Let's, let's give this a shot. Um, so, oh, first I have to do that. Oops. Then I launch it. Then I launch the next part with... I need to mark these. That one is one of them. Yeah. So that'll go forward. And it is in the proper position. So now this one can launch, and that's only given a single pulse now. Oh my gosh, it freaking works. <laughs> oh yes, I did it. Oh my gosh, it works. That is, oh, a proud moment for Erroneous. Oh man. Oh no. That one was not supposed to do that. That was supposed to be here. Oh, thank oh, it fused. Uh, oh. <sighs> okay. What if I used a redstone block? Let's see here. It still fuses, but it does it does still do its job. 
iPad, I'm looking back at the slow-mo footage, and right here is the spot that it it fails. Right? Ah, there. I'm not sure what's causing that. Uh, those two update at the same time as... Hmm. I figured it out. So if I go in here frame by frame, it's getting stuck because that pushes there. And that's perfectly normal. That should happen. And then those line up properly, like they should. But the problem comes in that this piston starts pushing again. It shouldn't be able to. So if I can make this module here in its entirety at least 12 blocks or um, everything in front of this piston at least at least 12 blocks then that'll fix my problem because once that happens right there that's when that's when it fuses because this that's when this piston does that fingers crossed Why? I may have just figured it out. So the only reason that it's binding and freezing up is because this piece is able to slide back and stick to the slime block right here. So if I were to just make it so that piece cannot stick to that slime block, that should fix it, right? Let's try this again. So first one goes the second one slid backwards. Uh oh. Please tell me that didn't fuse. Doesn't look like it did. Okay, that, that seems to be okay. Although this isn't supposed to be there, that's supposed to be over here. Keep forgetting to move that. So now if all goes well, this should reverse on its own. Oh, accidental discovery. If it gets bound up on the wall over there and you send uh, just the first part here back, or I guess the third part back, and then send it up again, it seems to fix it. Maybe putting that there will work? I just need to stop that piston from being moved improperly. So if I can make it so when that piston moves forward it holds that one in place without actually sticking to anything. That should work, I think. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna put that back. Hopefully this one will work. Nope. There's the issue. Right there, this piston is supposed to be able to push everything. I think, like right there, it should be pushing. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I. I don't think there's a block there actually. That's twelve. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, it's thirteen. Darn. <laughs> Why must it taunt me so? Alright, I'm just playing around with that thing so much that it broke. And apparently my backed up version is broken as well, so... I started over. I think I've got something here that might work. So, instead of having this front section and all that be... And having something at the back that pulls backwards, I've put something at the front that pushes backwards. And then I have this little thing here that will hopefully update it and make it push back. I did have an error in it earlier. Yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> did, 
<laughs> it just worked. Okay, so then of course I would have a little station right here that would repair it. By pulling that out and then using a flush piston. Actually, I wouldn't even need to push those back. Alright, so I guess time to test it with some actual blocks. Ah, uh, dang it. Now that, that can be fixed, that can be fixed. Just have to have a piston come in here and give it a quick push. And that sh oh dang it, I forgot to put the I forgot to put that thing on there. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh my gosh, I did it! <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea how long this has taken me. I think this is my third day of recording. <sighs> okay, it's not done yet though. I still need to make sure that it works with all that. That should pull the drill head back. Fingers crossed. Oh, no. Why is that not working? No. That would be why it's not working. Well, oh, shit. Um, that block, along with all of those, are blocking this block right here. Which means that the already struggling with 11 piston that's supposed to attract this now has 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks, which is 4 over the max limit. <sighs> Dang it. It was working so well. I realized just a second ago that I can put these guys on the sides. That opens up the top and bottom, so I started messing around with that for a while. And I realized I don't need that piston there. I can just push here, and if that one updates, which I hope it will, it'll start the chain reaction of that one moving backwards. <sighs> I'm really nervous. Because <laughs> I know that if this does not work, then I'll have to come up with another design. So, I got an idea. With the way that we're planning on using this, we're going to have mo multiple units stacked on top of each other. So why not just have the top unit trigger the bottom unit? So that way, when the one above it comes in, it starts the retraction. And that shouldn't interfere with anything, as long as I space them properly. Alright, so I guess... Now it's time to test it. I will have to manually re-reverse it the, f uh, the first time. Because the first time it'll only grab one block each, so it won't trigger each- they won't trigger each other. So then I can just have a flying machine up above here, as big as I want without any size restrictions. Once again, you update the top one, and then- <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Oh, that that's that's perfect. All right. So now I think I've got the auto returning thing hooked up. I just add a block there, so when it passes over these, it'll update the first one, and a block for it right here. That should be it. Alright, first test. That's not promising. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Alright, second try. Oh, wait a minute. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, let's 
see if that works. That should turn around when it hits the trap door. Almost. Alright, let's try this again. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay, I can work with this. Alright, this should be able to make one of them have a flat face on it. Oh, nope, it, okay. That's a nope. Quasi connectivity. Alright, let's try this again. Once again, goal is for that wall to be flat at the bottom. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, I probably should have put a backstop on that, though. Alright guys, I think I'm going to have to end the episode here because this took a lot longer to record than I was expecting. However, I have made a little bit of progress since I last showed this. This part is going a lot more smoothly than the uh, creation of the actual drills themselves. But I now have everything hooked up to where I can just press this button and all of the drills will be launched, as well as the device to make them turn around. Other than actually building it on the server and making multiples of these stacked up on top of one another, I think it's finished. It, it works. It just works. It's great. Yeah, with that, I think I'm going to cut it off here. And I'll keep working on it off camera, but... As of right now, that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching, friends. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed, maybe consider subscribing. Have a nice one, guys.